first and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakudash, double honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone who rule well and who has the 100% truth. This is for the whole free elect of Israel, which I used to call Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. The 144,000 elect men that be sitting on the ruling government of the kingdom to come. And also, want you, you men, women, and children, the true followers of Yahweh Hashem and Hashem, which make up the one third, okay? You're going to be saved out of here when that time comes. Hopefully, I'm one of the other ones of the hopefully elect. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. Yah is He, Yahweh. He is, He is this. The name of His only begotten Son is Yahweh Shai. Yah is He, Yahweh Shai, the Savior, the Deliverer. And our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai is whom we are waiting for to come in these last days. As you see the turmoil over there, the no peace in the Middle East, and you see. The battles that's going on in the Red Sea right now are just a, pre a precursor to the destruction of Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America, spiritual Solomon in Egypt. And this place is being isolated right now as we speak through the spirit of power, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah. We're going to watch this clip, it's a short one, and I'm going to hear some notes. Bear with me. Is artificial intelligence about to free us from the curse of Babel? Artificial intelligence will make it easier than ever to communicate across linguistic borders. But is this a good thing? Asks linguist Philip Sargent. Philip Sargent is a linguist at the Open University UK and author of The Future of Language. From the very beginnings of recorded history, there's been a desire to create a single language that could unite humankind. Allegorized in the biblical story of the Tower of Babel, as well as in origin myths from cultures around the world, the belief has always been that the diversity of languages, there are over 7,000 spoken today, is a problem for which we need to find a solution. Now, with that being said, on this video, the solution to the language barrier, it's not going to work. It's not going to work for you. See, Esau Edom right now, the rich and elite bacon founder, the self-proclaimed white man, is trying to set up his NWO, okay, his system, so he can escape judgment. But he's not going to be able to do that, okay? And there's a lot of similar tools in the Holy Scriptures. If you read and put the pieces together, you'll understand. Because this place, America today, a.k.a. spiritual Sodom, spiritual Egypt, also known as Babylon the Great. So let's get these notes. Because there is no escape for you, Esau, Edom, self-proclaimed white man, the wicked, Job 9, 24, because that's what this place, Babylon the Great, this whole world was given to you by your Hobbit, by your Hobbit side. That's in Job 9, 24. Okay. Genesis in the NLT, 11 to 2. As the people migrated to the east, they found a plain in the land of Babylonia and settled there, okay? There won't be any escape from judgment. All the ancient kingdoms that ruled then were taken down, starting with the flood. Then after Nimrod tried, he also, here's the notes, Genesis 11, 5, from the 5th verse to the 7th. And the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, in all caps, came down to see the city and the tower. 
which the children of men build it. Okay? Now you got three classes, classifications of men. Okay? You got children of the power, which is Israel. Children of men are the other heathen nations, okay? And the children of the wicked is the seed of Satan, the physical seed on this earth, okay? The wicked. Genesis 11, 5, 7. And the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, came down to see the city, okay, and the tower, which the children of men builded. And the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, said, Behold, the people is one, and they have all one language. And this they begin to do. And now nothing will be restrained from them, which they have imagined to do. Okay, go to, let us go down and there confound their language that they may not understand one another's speech. So the Heavenly Father Yahweh sent down the angels. You know they travel in chariots, which I used to, which we people ignorantly call UFOs and UAPs, because they're constantly watching, even now. What's going on down here? And they're reporting back to the Heavenly Father Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh. So they're watching this, okay? And they're seeing the pride of these people, okay? So let's continue. After the flood, Nimrod had rebelled against the Most High Yahweh. He wanted to construct a city that, in case the Most High Yahweh came again to destroy, his city would escape destruction, okay? So the Most High Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh, sir, confounded the language. Hence today, America is compared to Babylon the Great, as well as other similar tools such as spiritual Sodom and spiritual Egypt. Okay, first, Babylon the Great. Babylon itself, the ball means confusion. Okay? America means bitter. America, all you gotta do is look it up. America, it's bitter wine. America is a bitter, bitter place for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay, it's bitter for us. It's not our rest. It's similar to also of Sodom because what's going on with the happy people, okay? Spiritual Egypt, which represents bondage because we were in bondage in Egypt. Therefore, this is spiritual Egypt. Spiritual Sodom and spiritual Egypt. Egypt. Okay. In which these cities, those cities, and these cities now won't escape judgment and didn't escape judgment. So it's being cycled back around. Here's the notes on this. Two, two angels, two holy angels, came into Sodom to warn Lot, which was Ab Ab Abraham's nephew, that the city was going to be destroyed by fire and brimstone. That because of this, and being Abraham's nephew, Abraham's nephew, he needed to leave the city. Okay, I'm talking about Abraham, which is the other elect of Israel. It's a Hebrew, okay. And he wanted his nephew to escape that also. And to prove that that was his nephew, let's go to Genesis 14, 12 verse to the 14 verse, okay. And they took Lot, Abram's brother's son, which makes him his nephew, who dwelt in Sodom, and his goods, and departed. And there came out, and there came one that had escaped, and told Abram, the Hebrew, for he dwelt in the plain of Mamre, the Amorite, brother of Eshcol, and brother of Anur. And these were confederate with Abram. And when Abram heard that his brother was taken captive, he armed his trained servants, born in his own house, 300 
and 18 and pursued them unto death. Okay? This is proof that Lot was Abraham's nephew because he was taken hostage and men went out to bring him back. Sodom was destroyed because of sin and abominations with men lying with men doing unseemly acts. That's also here in Babylon the Great today, which is a similar, similar to spiritual Sodom. And get that in Genesis 19, second verse to the fourth verse. And he said, Behold now, my lords, turn in, I pray you, into your servant's house, and tarry all night, and wash your feet, and ye shall rise up early and go on your ways. And they said, Nay, but we will abide in the street all night. Okay? And he pressed upon them greatly, and they turned in unto him and entered into his house. And he made them a feast and did bake unleavened bread, and they did eat. But before they lay down, the men of the city even the men of Sodom compassed the house round. Both old and young, all the people from every quarter. So they surrounded Lot's house. Why? Because they wanted to get at the two holy angels. Okay? And they came, the two holy angels came to warn Lot that that place was getting ready to be destroyed. Sodom and the five cities, okay? It was getting ready to be destroyed because of the sin and the abomination that was going on that the holy angels, they were watching and reporting back to the heavenly father, Yahweh. Okay? Genesis 19 and 5. And they called unto Lot and said unto him, We are the men which came in to thee this night. Bring them out. He said, let me read that again. Genesis 19 and 5. And they called unto Lot and said unto him, Where are the men which came in to thee this night? Bring them out unto us, that we may know them. That we may know them, which is meaning they wanted to lay with those angels. Okay? With the messengers. They were the messengers of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah. And these wicked people, these wicked men wanted to lay down with them as they would lay with a woman. Just like today in Babylon the Great. Dealing with the happy people. Okay? And they called unto Lot and said unto him, Where are the men which came into thee this night? Bring them out unto us that we may know them. Which means they wanted to lay down with the holy angels, the messengers of the Most High Yahweh. Okay? That's what that means. There's no escape from judgment, but only for the elect of Israel. Okay? Because they're going to be destroyed. And, and, and the elect, the angels came to war. So they can get out of there before the destruction. Same as today. The warning is going out. Genesis 19, 9 and 11. 9 through 11. And they said, stand back. And they said again, this one fellow came in to sojourn. And he will needs be a judge. Now they brought somebody with him, a young man, probably was strong built, to bogart the door, to open the door, to kick that door in, okay? That's who they brought with him. So they can get at the angels to lay with him, okay? And they said, stand back. And they said again, this one fellow came in to sojourn. And he will need to be a judge. Now will we deal worse with thee than with them? And they pressed sore upon the man, even Lot, and came near to break the door. But the men put their hand and poured Lot into the house to them and shut to the door. And they smoked the men that were at the door of the house with blindness both small and great so they so that they wearied themselves to find the door so they couldn't find the door they were groping around they couldn't find the door okay 
they kicked the door in, and even though Lot offered up his virgin daughters, these sodomites wanted to be with the angels. Okay? Genesis 19, 9 and 11, in the KJV. And they said, stand back. And they said again, this one fellow came in to sojourn, and he will needs to be a judge. Now we will deal worse with thee, deal with them. And they pressed so upon the man, even Lot, and came near to break the door. But the men put forth their hand and poured Lot into the house to them and shut the door. And they smoked the men that were at the door of the house with blindness, but small, both small and great, so that they wearied themselves to find the door. But know so this is another similitude. Let's talk about Babylon the Great, spiritual Sodom, spiritual Egypt. Did not Sodom be destroyed for the same thing that is being done in America today? Weren't Noah and his family, and all the eight souls were saved? Wasn't Abraham warned and also Lot warned of the coming destruction of that place? Yes, they were warned because they were the elect of that time. Jump up to today, that one is, is going again out. Okay? And it's going out by the prophets against America, Babylon the Great, spiritual Sodom, spiritual Egypt. Okay? The southern and northern kingdom are here in America today, which is called spiritual Sodom, spiritual Egypt. The northern kingdom first. Okay? And you find that in 2 Exodus 13, 40 verse to the 45. Those are the ten tribes which were carried away prisoners out of their own land in the time of Hosea, the king, whom Solomonessah, the king of Assyria, led away captive. And he carried them over the waters. And so came they into another land. The other land is America, okay? Let me finish reading. But they took but, but they took this counsel among themselves that they would lead the multitude of the heathen and go forth into a further country. That further country, so like it's America, where never mankind dwelt. The, where never mankind dwelt. That they might there keep their statue, which they never kept in their own land. So they left where they were at to another country. So they can keep the law, statutes, and commandments, which they couldn't keep where they were at. Okay? And they couldn't keep it, keep it here either, okay? Verse 42 that they might keep, that they might there keep their statutes, which they never kept in their own land. And they entered into Euphrates by the narrow places of the river. For the Most High then showed signs for them, and the hell stilled the flood till they were passed over. For through that country there was a great way to go, namely of a year and a half. And the same region is called Asareth. And Asareth, just another word, the other country, which is America. Okay? The word Asareth, here it go. Asareth, the Jewish encyclopedia. Okay. The name of the land beyond the great river, far away from the habitation of men in which the ten tribes of Israel will dwell, observing the laws of Moses until the time of the restoration, according to 4 Esther's. Okay. 45, Columbus identified America with this land, seeing Caesarines. Christopher Columbus translated by D.C. Gross, page 15. Okay. Okay, now the southern key kingdom were over there through the transatlantic slave cargo ships, the slave trade, okay. Jeremiah 50, 31 to 33. Behold, I am against thee, O thou most proud, said. Yahweh Pahashem, Yahweh power of hosts. For thy day has come, the day that I will visit thee, and the most proud shall stumble and fall, and none shall rise him up, none shall raise him up, 
and I will kindle a fire in his cities, and it shall devour all round about him. Thus said the Heavenly Father, Yahweh of hosts. And Yahweh of hosts means the, the power of armies. Okay? The children of Israel and the children of Judah. Northern and Southern Kingdom. So called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans were oppressed together. And all that took them captives held them fast. They refused to let them go. Okay? That right there is in Babylon the Great. America today, that's the similar tool. Revelation 11, 8, and the 9th verse. And their dead bodies shall lie in the streets of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord Yahweh was crucified. How was he crucified? In America today, by the rich and elite banking founders, Esau, Edom, with their churches, okay, teaching lies. They, they went and colored the faces of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, They made their images into their images. Okay? They whitewashed all the images of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, even the holy angels. And then they colorized them with their images of us. They made themselves us. You put a word is at you, you. You put the any is at any word. It mean to be like, to act like, to act like. Okay, to be like. So what they done? They put that is on the end, and it only means just like acting childish. You're acting like a child. This is what they have done, and they color the faces. They, they, you know, Job nine twenty four. Explains it. Earth is given into the hand of the wicked. If not, where and who is he? He, he, he comes to the faces of the judges. Okay, matter of fact, I'm going to have to get that. Matter of fact, let's get it. I want to butcher it. It's the book of Job, 9, 24. Job 9, 24. And it reads, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges there. If not, where and who is he? Okay, but that veil is going to be broken. It's going to be uncovered. Okay, let's see if I can get that. Oh, okay, the covering cash, so like it. How is it? 25 and 7. And it reads He will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people and the veil that is spread over all nations. Okay? And what's that covering cast? His image. And also who he is. He is Esau Edom, the self-proclaimed white man. We are the Hebrew Israelites, the true Hebrew Israelites. So God, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay? But Esau Edom came out red. Adawam. Okay? That's who he is. You other heathen nations, Moab, which is the Chinese, Amnon, which is the Japanese, you get the whole table of nations, but that covering cast is coming off slowly. 
even Russia has the Russian icons. So those lies are being seen through. Okay. So let's get back. I just had to get that. Okay. Just an added note. Again, the word Asareth means America, okay? And that's where the Northern Kingdom, the Ten Tribes, okay, came to here. And both eventually ended up here all together and were pressed together, okay? And were pressed together. And I said, Jeremiah 50. 31 to 33, Behold, I am against thee, O thou most proud. Who is the proud? Esau, Edom. Okay? The richly lead maker families. Behold, I am against thee, O thou most proud, said the heavenly father, Yahweh, power of hosts. For thy day is come. There's no escape. The day that I will visit thee, and the most proud shall stumble and fall, and none shall rise them up. None shall raise them up, and I will kindle a fire in the cities. And it shall devour all around about him. Thus said the Heavenly Father Yahweh of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were pressed together. And all that took them captives held them fast. They refused to let them go. Revelation 11, 8 and 9. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. This is similar to spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. Where also our Lord Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh, was crucified. Okay? He crucified by covering the faces of the judges, Job 9, 24, okay? And they are the people in the countries and the towns and nations shall see the dead bodies three days and a half and shall not suffer the dead bodies to be put in graves. So the dead bodies of who? So-called Negros, Latinos, and Native Americans. They, they brought us over here. We lost our, our, our customs. We lost our way of life, okay? We lost who we were. We what we came up when we were born over here. We didn't know that we were the true Hebrew Israelites until we were taught that. We spirit of power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh side through the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. They learned from their teachers, their elders. We also were taught that. Okay? But they knew who we were. And they made money off of us. That's why they didn't tell us who we were and who we are. Because they knew if they did they wouldn't make it. They wouldn't survive. Okay? But that said time is now. Revelation 11, 8 and 9. And the dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom in Egypt, America, today. And they, other people in the countries and the towns and nations, shall see that dead bodies three days and a half. And shall not suffer that dead bodies to be put in graves. Okay, again. So now some of the dead bodies to be put in the grave, meaning you knew who we, who you had held captive over here in American spiritual Sodom and Egypt, but you didn't tell us who we were, which we are the 12, twi to the 12 tribes of Israel, which they so-called blast Latinos and Native Americans, but now everything's out in the open. And everyone is being warned of the destruction of America, Babylon, the great spiritual Sodom, spiritual Egypt. It's getting ready to go down, okay? It's getting ready to go down. Isaiah 47, 1 and 3. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans. But thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate because you never had wars over here. Okay? You never had a major war over here. You never had destruction over here like you see all, all around the world and these, all these other hot spots that which you caused because of your philosophies. And you know, you raped their land of resources that you put in the economic hitmen, hit and then you caused them cut those kingdoms to war against each other. So you could come in and set up your puppet regimes, okay? But see, now this place is being isolated. They figured you out. So come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon, a.k.a. America, spiritual Sodom and Egypt. Sit on the ground, okay? There's no throne, oh, daughter of the Chaldeans. Daughter of the Chaldeans, okay? You daughter of Britain. You came out of Britain. That's how America was full, okay? 
Take the millstone, grind mill. Uncover thy locks. locks. Make bare the leg, uncover the thigh. That's your shame. Your shame is shown. Pass over the rivers. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yeah, thy shame shall be seen. Okay. I will take vengeance and I will not meet thee as a man. I'll go to send me your house. I'm coming back. Okay. And he's coming back. In the fathership, in the chariot, which you people ignorantly call UFOs and UF, UAPs, okay? The whole world has seen the lies you perpetrated against them and the other nations for your gain. Nevertheless, they're going down with you. They are conspired against us, all of you, heathen nations, starting with the World Economic Forum along with you and other heathen nations. All of you took crafty counsel against us, okay? Psalms 83, 3 and 8, 3 to 8. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones, okay? The hidden ones are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the true Hebrew Israelites, which the Bible speaks of, okay? They have said, come and let us cut off, cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in the remembrance, okay? And they've done that, but now we came back to our cousin. We know who we are. And also, everyone knows. They've been known. The, the, the elites know. Okay? Not everyone knows. But they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against the, the tabernacles of Edom. They notice that's the first on the list. Okay? You rich and elite banking families. Okay? Self-proclaimed white men. Okay? And the Israelites. Of Moab and of Hagarines, Gabal, Ammon, and Amalek. So we're not land right now. Okay. Philistines, you over there too. Battling it out for that land. With the inhabitants of Tyre, Ashur, also enjoying with them. They have hope in the children of Lot. It's a lot. You know, but all you're going to get judged. Why? Because you touched the apple of the most high Jehovah's eye. Okay. Zechariah 2 and 8. But this said, the Holy Father Yahweh, in all caps of hosts, after the glory hath he sent me into the nations, which spoiled you. But he that touches you touches the apple of his eye. Who's the apple of his eye? So called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay? The true Hebrew Israelite, but first and foremost, the elect of Israel, his prophets, his apostles, his prophets, teachers. Okay? You are being warned. Okay? You are being warned. Just like Lot was warned. Just like Abraham, Abraham was warned. Just like Noah was warned. The flood and after. Now you're being warned again. We've been in four major captivities. Babylonia, Middle Persia, Greece, and Rome. Now we're in Rome 2.0. And this place is getting ready to go down like the rest. You are being warned. You see the stage is set for the battle. You see what's going on in the Red Sea, and you see all the turmoil that's happening around the world. Babylon the Great, spiritual Sodom, spiritual Egypt is being isolated by Yahweh Pahashim Yahweh For what? For destruction by those thermonuclear missiles. But first, Jacob's trouble has happened along with the sea hill. Revelation 13, 16. You take it, you'll be weeping. There'll be weeping and gnashing of teeth. As the burning man in that Tesla car on fire. But much worse. If you take the sea here, Revelation 14 and 9, on down, it's going to happen to you. You're going to be burned up by the thermonuclear missiles. And also possibly by all the other things that's going to be happening to you. And from the chariots of the most high Yahweh by Sunday Homicide. And we should be streaming out those lasers, those concentrated fires. Okay? And they make it mandatory. Make what mandatory? The sea here. When they make it mandatory, then this place will come to an end and will be, and then we'll be in, in the kingdom of our Lord and Savior Yahweh. So under King David and 144,000 elect men and men, women, and children, the two believers that make up the one third. There is no escape from judgment. Esau, Edom will not be able to complete his NWO agenda. He is done. Joel 5 and 12 to the 13. He disappointed the devices of the crowd. So that their hands cannot perform their enterprises. Enterprise means his 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 new world order, his agenda. Okay. He taketh the wise and 
their own craftiness. And the console of the forward is carry head long. It's not going to complete it. You know why? Because the same weapons he created because he was given the knowledge by the Heavenly Father Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh like to do it with, he himself will be, just, will be destroyed by it. Okay? He's trying to connect everybody to the IOB, the internet of body. He's trying to follow his devil. Okay? You want to change the language? You know? You can't do what Nimrod tried to do. It ain't going to work. There ain't no escape for you. Behold, I have created the smith that blew up the coals. That's Isaiah 54, 16. Behold, I created the smith that blew up the coals in the fire and that bring a forth an instrument for his work and I have created the waste to destroy, okay? To destroy. They will destroy themselves, but the elect of Israel will not be touched, okay? Isaiah 54, 17, the NLT. But in that coming day, no weapon turned against you will succeed. You will silence every voice raised up to accuse you. These benefits are enjoyed by the servants of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Their vindication will come from me. I, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, Shai, have spoken. Okay, so nothing is going to touch the elect. The elect was warned back in Noah's days. The elect was warned back in Abraham's days. The lot was worn by the holy angels. It's all about the elect. The hope for elect on this side. But the warning is going out. Heed the warning. Come out of her, my people, as the scripture said, roughly paraphrasing. Because this place is going up for the, to, to destruction. Okay? So get your mind right. Take a trouble around the corner as elder apostle to her. Then 2024. That's the year of Jacob's trouble. Hopefully coming to pass, okay? Roughly paraphrasing that as well. But it's coming. You feel it. There's too many things that's happening, okay? And so with that, the water to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shai, for allowing me to bring this up. All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bahashem, we got the dash, double honor to the apostles and elders of great millstone who will. And with that, Shalom.